Why do we want to think about this now? Because of the cost curve, right? So again, cost curves are like gravity. And uh, this makes uh, actually Moore's law look linear. I mean, the cost of PF went from a million dollars a kilo to about a hundred dollars in 20 years. From a million to a hundred. If it keeps going that way, it's going to be about a dollar per kilo, maybe two by 2030. Um, and why is that interesting? Because animal proteins sell for about $10 in wholesale markets. So casein and whey and so on, $10. If my numbers are right, the industry is going to reach that in 2025, only two years away, actually a year and a half from now. Right? So that's when the collapse of the dairy industry starts. And it's going to happen for economic reasons. And we know that food ingredient disruptions follow S-curves. And they can happen very quickly. Pepsi and Coke in the U.S. in the 1980s went from zero corn sugar to 100% corn sugar in four years. Right? That's how quickly things are going to happen. And this is not a veggie revolution. This is literally the second domestication of plants and animals. We're making with microorganisms what we used to make with macroorganisms. Um, and, you know, PF is so much more efficient than livestock, than animals. Um, just land use is a hundred times more resource efficient, a hundred times, right? You need 1% of the land for PF to produce the same amount that the cow produces, 1%. And that is really important. PF can be made anywhere. A water, energy, and a little bit of um, um, sugar. That's all you need. Everyone, on February 14th, Nestle announced a precision fermentation whey protein. I wasn't sure at the time whether or not it was made by Perfect Day because we've been waiting their announcement. You can finally confirm that it looks like this is indeed using protein from Perfect Day, even though it's not something that's labeled on their package. Paul Shapiro has posted that he's tried the powder and Perfect Day did announce it on stage at a summit recently. Can't find the video, unfortunately, so I couldn't include the clip here. Here's the website and we can see here they only offer a creamy chocolate fudge, but they have whey protein isolate from fermentation. Originally, the first protein powder is from California Performance, and this was a company created by Perfect Day. They are no longer selling their protein powders, but if we look at pricing, it's quite interesting. They started pricing their protein powders at the same price, $29.99, but they had a larger bag, so that came out to $1.8 an ounce. And then later on, they lowered their prices to $1.5 an ounce. My Protein has a Perfect Day protein powder that they are selling for $3.4 an ounce. There are quite a few sales on right now, and so at their cheapest pricing, they're currently at $1.3 an ounce. And then comparing that to the Oregon Better Way, we're at $2.3 an ounce, so this is still quite expensive, but cheaper than the My Protein. And comparing to Animal Grass Fed Way at $1.5 an ounce, and Plant Based Proteins at $1.4 an ounce. So I just think the pricing is really interesting. I'm not sure whether or not this reflects any profits or just cost of production, or if they were losing money on these products at California Performance, they've already achieved a price point that is comparable to grass-fed animal whey protein. The My Protein and the Nestle pricing here, which are still significantly higher. Keep in mind though, the protein powders are sold for more than what you can buy protein at wholesale pricing so we have ten dollars a kilo if we convert these per ounce pricing to kilo we can see that the animal whey protein is at fifty three dollars a kilo 
and the precision fermentation protein was around anywhere from high 40s to low 50s per kilo. So that's about five times as much as the wholesale price would be. Interesting to see what pricing is. Interesting to see the products in the market. The Nestle Better Way protein is a limited edition. We have yet to see someone come onto market and sell precision fermentation protein at the same price as animal whey and to keep doing that in a long period of time. So unfortunately we don't have California Performance anymore. They've closed down with the sale of the Urgent Company last year. I would hope to start getting protein powders that are cost competitive to animal versions. This is only a matter of time. It's going to happen within the next couple of years. We have lots of companies entering the market and more and more countries are starting to approve these products. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.